and welcome back to the Red Booth Show. I'm here with guitarist Jay Gore. Now, uh, Jay Gore was talking a bit about the change in the music with yes. not having kids learning how to play instruments in school as right. much, um, and that it's become more electronic, which, which has created a whole new genre and a whole new movement of like electronic music and stuff like that, which right, which has its own talent and its own thing to absolutely, it as well. yeah, absolutely it does. Um, it's uh, I have I have this one guy right now that he said I really would like to take lessons from you, and I said, listen, I don't have the time to dedicate. You need to be taking a lesson every week at the same time so that you have a goal for that week. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's yeah, with anything, you have to set goals with diets and sobriety and anything like that. You have to set these little goals. You know, they say they say one day at a time and things like that. Right. But lessons for musical instruments are the same. And I said, I don't have the time to commit to you, but what I will do is I will give you a ton of work and when you get it done and you know it and you've ingested it, yeah. you call me back and yeah. then we'll get together and I'll give you a ton of work. That's good because then it puts it on them. They have to, you know, Absolutely. like a personal trainer, you know, they get like, hey, you're going to do it or what? I got sick of parents yeah. saying to me, look, you know, I'm paying you every week to give my son or daughter lessons and I don't hear them getting any better. And I would say... How, do you hear them practicing? Because it's very obvious to me when I walk into the lesson that 20 minutes before I got there, they started practicing what I gave them last week. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. very obvious <laughs> because I know how long it takes to get something in your hands, right? So to speak. So. Well, speaking of I'm that, I'm frustrated with that. Yeah, no, I can understand. I mean, that's um, you're you're used to basically just rocking out and you know you play like right. really really well and Thank you. you're at a high high level. I was hoping you could actually play something. Um, I have a guitar here. I yeah. don't know what I would play. You could just play something from your new album. Oh no, no, the new album is not is not like that. Oh really? Yes. Okay. This by the way, that, that reminds thing. me. So this is Jay's new album, and it's all it's all um, you know his own instrumentals, and so just wanted to make sure we got that. Okay, good. And you just recently finished this. Yes, it's this not is, actually out yet. It's not out yet. This is a whole different thing. Yeah. There's no acoustic instruments on this. Really? Yes. Um, what I've done here is I was really into some of that European stuff like um, Enigma, Massive Attack, Portishead, that kind of stuff. I uh, love that stuff. Right. Seriously, that's so like some of listening, my favorite. I was listening to it and I thought, there's no guitar on this music. And why can't there be? So I thought, I'm going to get together with some really great programmers, a guy named Rodney Lee, a guy named Julian Chan, who, who produced the record with me. And I'm going to do this really cool kind of vibey, trancey, I guess, electronic stuff, yeah. mid-tempo, mid and, uh, and put lead guitar on it. Whoa. You know? Cool. So that's, so that's what like this a merging is. of the world. That's the why I call worlds. it Guitronica. Guitar. It's guitar and electronica. So I called Getronica. it Getronica. That's what that's what it's called. Getronica. Nice. So it's kind of a, a style. I don't know anybody who's done anything like this. I'm sure there's somebody out there who has. I've never, I've never bragged about being innovative. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. It's a totally new uh, yeah. concept for right. you, and I think that's so cool that you put out your own album because yeah. you've done so much touring for yeah. so long with all these other artists. Right. And it doesn't necessarily highlight you as exactly. the guitarist, right? Yeah, you have to put on the suit for the job you're doing, right? so to speak. Yeah. There are artists that, um, that will hire you and they want you to play. They basically, you're a tool. Right. You know, and I don't mean that in the, in the you're a tool moron kind of the sense. I mean, you're, <laughs> you're, you're facilitating what they need. What they need. Yeah. And that's fine. Like play jazzy guitar or, or play or, rock no, here's guitar the record, learn this guitar part. Right. And play it exactly like the record. Right. And that's fine. That's what you want. That's your that's your deal. That's what you want to portray to your audience. And that's fine. I'm not gonna tell you about your audience. Right. Then there are other artists who are I want you because I want what you do. Right. I want you, what know, you to create here it. are these songs and then put your flavor on them. Yeah. And of course, I think most musicians would say that they prefer working with those types of artists. Oh, of course, because yeah. you get to be more creative. Absolutely. And the other ones, at least, are getting paid. Right. Right. Sure. Well, um, like when you're dealing with someone like, for say, example, Hillary Duff when right. you went on tour. Right. What was that like working with her? She was amazing because she's very sweet and very kind, and she had never done this before. So they were, in my opinion, her management. They were very smart. 
they hired people who were not her age. They wanted professionals who, when we got out on the road, were going to act like professionals. Right. And it served them well because that's exactly what happened. She was a Disney artist. They didn't want misbehaving. On that's right. right. Now that's a whole other thing that you you had to deal with because right. she was a Disney artist. Absolutely. And they're very very strict, I think, about what happens. Well, with their we artists. were just told before we went on tour. They just basically had a short conversation with us and they said, "Look, we know you're professionals. And we know you like going on tour. We know it's fun and the snap, but this is not Aerosmith." Right. You know, this is. Hillary Duff. Wink, wink. Right. You need, to, you need to act accordingly. You yeah. know, your your behavior is very important. And I said, look, great. Like, I don't mind. You tell me what the job is, and I'll take it or I won't. Right. And if I agree to take the job, I'm going to follow the rules of that job. Right. Right. It's it's simple to me. It's just yes or no. You're either going to do it or you're not. Right. Nobody's twisting my arm to go play at Madison Square Garden. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> With a pop star. Yeah, you. That's su such suffering that you yeah. have to go. No, through. it was a great time. <laughs> okay, we have to take another quick okay. break. We'll be right back with guitarist Jay Gore. Hey, thanks for watching part of my interview with Jay Gore. To continue to hear the rest of his story, click here.